We are your local election headquarters. This week, two dozen candidates will face off in debates. Arkansas's PBS week-long series will cover nine races. Today, we begin with two congressional districts, District 3 and District 4. Andrew Epperson joins us now live. He's on the campus of UCA, which, of course, is the site of the debates. Andrew, what questions did the would-be representatives answer today? Most of the questions involve topics that are really dominating this election cycle, Bob, whether that be inflation, the economy, abortion rights, or election security. Now, the debate started with that District 4 congressional race incumbent Republican Bruce Westerman facing challengers and Democrat John White and Libertarian Gregory Maxwell. All say inflation is the biggest concern the country's facing. Westerman and White say abortion rights should be decided by the state. With Maxwell saying the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade took away 50 years of precedent. Now, the legitimacy of the 2020 election came up several times and was notable in this race. Maxwell saying he thinks the election was fair overall. White, a Democrat, stating without proof that no American presidential election has been legitimate since Kennedy, and that includes the 2020 election. White also offered support for QAnon, deemed a baseless widespread conspiracy theory by the Anti-Defamation League. In a statement, the Democratic Party of Arkansas condemned White's statements and said they didn't recruit him to run in the first place. Westerman also took issue with the Washington Post analysis that categorized him as an election denier. I've never thought of myself as an election denier because I voted to certify the electors. Uh, then maybe they're making that case because I signed on to the amicus brief that came out of Texas. Yes, it was definitely stolen. We all watched the numbers go from Trump to Biden. Hey, we're still searching for the truth, but no. And then on to the second debate, the race for District 3, basically northwest Arkansas. Incumbent Republican Steve Womack facing challengers and Democrat Lauren Mallet Hayes and Libertarian Michael Calagius. Topics included the federal deficit and handling the notable growth in northwest Arkansas. Candidates also talked about climate change and offered different visions on how Arkansas can reduce carbon emissions. We have the ability to produce energy right here, domestic energy, and we do it in a much cleaner, much more responsible way. We have got to take all of our eggs out of one basket and diversify our energy in ways of making solar energy more affordable and accessible to the average everyday person. But that has to be taken care of by the people themselves. Um, the, a lot of this is, is going on at levels that, that federal involvement isn't helping at all. Bob, these debates will be going on all week here in Conway. Tomorrow we'll hear from people who are competing to be Lieutenant Governor and Secretary of State. Later in the week we will have the folks running for Governor here in Arkansas, including Democrat Chris Jones and Republican Sarah Huckabee Sanders. So big week for Arkansas politicos, Bob.